This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. And is for the Women's Championship. Get ready for brutal judgment. Rhea Ripley is a tough, tough woman. Introducing the challenger, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Austin. A woman who calls herself undeniable. She certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. And introducing the champion from Las Vegas, Nevada, she is... This is arguably the biggest challenge the champ has faced yet. You can feel it. Absolutely. We can easily see the title change hands here tonight. Or we could see a champion do whatever it takes to prevent such a thing from happening, gentlemen. And she dodged that one nicely. To the outside. This could get wild. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Suplex! Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Oh, God, what a shot to the face. to Libre stars around. We are about to see high flying exemplified. The following contest 
is a fatal four-way extreme. Oh, baby, let the good times roll. I figured you'd like this goof. You probably laugh at all his jokes, too. I happen to find Happy Corbin extremely entertaining. And introducing the challenger from Kansas City, weighing in at 200 at... The real Apollo Crews is here. And introducing the challenger, representing Diamond Mine from Benway State, Nigeria. The one, the only, Logan Paul. And introducing the champion from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 100. Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. One of the most beloved titles in all of WWE, the fate of the Intercontinental Championship will be decided here in this, this unpredictable environment of an Extreme Rules match. No shortage of paths to victory here, as we will see. Rey Mysterio, Happy Corbin, Apollo Crews, and Logan Paul. A lot of different strategies at play here. You can either try and run the table, or do what I do, which is run it all in terms of what I call Discussion is the better part of valor, after all. It's hard enough one-on-one, -on -one, Cole, but now you have three other superstars going for it. The key here is it's only one fall, so you need to be proactive in preventing it or making it happen yourself. You turn your lights out. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Big-time spine buster. Could lead to a big-time win. Yeah. Whatever's playing here can't be good. He's making his intentions known. in mind. Absolute destruction. Every ounce of the body is a target. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. What a shot. And it looks like that one opened a pretty good gash on Ray. Nothing good's about to happen up there either. Oh, man, what a hit. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time. 
but he's got to strike soon. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Swinging! Neckbreaker textbook. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. The challenger is not in a great place. In order to succeed in an extreme rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. As we 
we can only see it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Military press. Ooh. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Oh my God! Oh, you really are killing me. Back of his neck. Oh, the reversal. I am Paul Cruz. Repertoire. Corbin perhaps getting a bit too cocky here. He's being confident. He's got the answer for that one. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Neck breaker. The superstar hooking the arm. Look at this rush of strikes. Every ounce of the body is a target. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. And a Oof. shot to the gut, too. Boom. Intensity and anger boiling over. All coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Serious injury just went away. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Crank in the head.
And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about.
Bad spot for Cruz. Atlanta with a face buster. And what's he looking for here? The steel chair. Never as innocent as he's trying again. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on him now. Corbin looking a little less happy than usual after that kick out. Hoisted up on their shoulders. Death Valley driver. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. And Mysterio clearly frustrated over that kick out, asking himself, what do I have to do next? Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker.
Well, here comes the Scottish warrior. Carrying his trusted blade, Angela. McIntyre summons the support of the WWE Universe into battle. Guys, we're about to see a fight. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh. Oh, no! Corey, when you look at the... Introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, he is the worldwide heavyweight champion, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! With this championship title in play, you can expect this match to be something special. After plenty of hype in social media chat, Bell has finally been wrong on this championship match. The time for talk is over. These superstars are ready to settle this and determine who gets to hold the title. McIntyre gets met with a response. A club with a right forearm. Sheamus inciting the fans in attendance. He's been placed in the corner now. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Oh no, a sledgehammer. Better call the paramedics right now. McIntyre gets away from that. Some superstars are understandably hesitant to exploit the no disqualification stipulation. Then they need to go and wrestle a different match. This is the kind of match where you need to cross the line before the opposition does. If a superstar wants the W, they need to overcome that hesitation. Gut check. Nothing fancy there. Got it. Like what sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. The challenger eating up some damage. Craft a way to get out of harm there. Neck breaker excellently executed. He's been put in a bind. Counter from the Celtic Warrior. Oh my gosh! What I don't think there's any love lost here. Certainly seems that tensions are rising, Michael. I have a feeling we're only seeing the beginning, Byron. And he has no regard for anyone else now that he has the sledgehammer in hand. He's just taunting his victim now. And there's seven. It's getting close. And he'll stand to break the count and keep this one going. He was waiting for him to make his move. Every 
successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Powerless position to be in right now. The Celtic Warrior letting some of that constant rage and frustration out. Sheamus' words hit just as hard as his fists. Four. Are you not going to put your attention back to the match? Seven. Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously close to the inevitable. This match ain't over yet. What's he thinking here? Oh, Michinoku driver. The champ getting put to the test here. My goodness, absolute dominance. Taking out the knee. Like a Terminator, McIntyre. 
McIntyre's eyes are seeing red. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. Champion, the 